Hey there, me again. Welcome back to another video. And today's video is one I've been wanting to do for a while, but I just haven't gotten to it. And now it's finally time. So what we're going to be talking about today is five reasons that I think every photographer needs a point and shoot camera. So here's the point and shoot I have. This is the Ricoh R1, which is a 35 millimeter film point and shoot camera. Um, I've actually done a full video on this camera if you're interested in this one specifically, so go check that out after this video. Um, but I think not only film point and shoots are important, but also digital point and shoots. I know I do a lot of film stuff on this channel, um, but a lot of these points that I'm gonna make are for both film and digital point and shoot cameras. first reason I think every photographer needs a point and shoot is kind of obvious, but point and shoots are really small. They're really light, and a lot of the times they're really thin, and they're really easy to just put in your pocket and take with you wherever you're going. Now, I think the best way to get a lot of good photographs that you're really happy with is to have a camera with you all the time, and this is a good way to do it and not really have to worry about your camera while you're out and not have it distract you from what you're doing. The next thing I like about point and shoots is most of them have a built-in flash, and that's really useful if you're going to go hang out with friends at night, or maybe you're hanging out inside where the light's not super good, and it's just really nice to have a camera that's got a built-in flash, and you don't have to worry about bringing your camera and your flash separately and just having all this junk hanging around while you're hanging out or just doing something kind of casual. Also, I think flash photography, especially in low light, is a way different look from photography that's done in natural light, which you'll see oftentimes because it's really easy to do. You can go out when the sun's out, you don't have to bring any external lighting, and it's just really easy. So this is a good way to maybe branch out and try some different things and add a new look to your photography. The third reason I think every photographer needs a point and shoot camera is the most important one, and that's that they're easy to use. Now that brings a few benefits. Now if you're a photographer that loves to take your camera with you everywhere you go, you know that sometimes if you're doing something that's just kind of low-key, it can be kind of stressful to juggle being a photographer with just being in the moment. Now um, if you bring a camera with you that's either really expensive or you care about it a lot and you don't want to break it or lose it, then you're going to be way more focused on taking pictures and where your camera's at than just hanging out and being with your friends or whatever you're doing. Now, if you bring a point-and-shoot camera with you, it's kind of a stress-free way of taking pictures. You don't have to worry about settings. It's a lot quicker to take pictures. You literally just point-and-shoot, like the name suggests. And there's not as much pressure, I feel like, to be a photographer when you've got a point-and-shoot with you. And you can just have it and take pictures if you feel like it. And if you don't, great, you can just hang out with your friends, and it's just a lot more carefree way of being a photographer. Also, the fact that point and shoots are easy to use and you don't have to mess with settings really makes them great for outdoor activities, parties, things where you don't want to stop the group and stop everything to be the photographer. You can just kind of have your camera with you and snap away as you're doing stuff, and you don't have to hold up the group, and it's great. And the most important benefit of having a camera that's easy to use is you can hand it to anybody and they can take pictures too. And it just kind of becomes like a fun little part of whatever you're doing. Say you're at a party and you can just hand it to your friends and they can take pictures if they want. And it just makes the night really fun. And another benefit is you might get pictures of yourself. And photographers a lot of the times spend their time behind the camera and don't end up ever getting pictures of themselves. So having a point and shoot is a great way to get some pictures of yourself as a photographer. Another cool thing about point and shoots is there's so many of them. Um, I'm sure there's hundreds, if not thousands of point and shoot cameras that I've never even heard of. So that makes it really fun to go out and look for one that you like because there's tons of different ones different sizes, different shapes, 
Some of them have zoom lenses, some of them have prime lenses. So you can really dial it in and figure out which point and shoot camera is right for you. Now that brings us to our fifth and final reason that I think every photographer should have a point and shoot. And that's the fact that there's so many of them makes them pretty easy to find cheap. Now I know there's some expensive ones like the Contax cameras and the Yashica T4 and stuff like that. Um, but there are so many different point and shoots out there that you can really go out and you can go to estate sales, you could go to the Goodwill, and you can really, you can find tons of these that some people think are just worthless and maybe they don't even know if they work or not and they'll sell them to you for $5 or something. That's how I got this in fact, was I went to an estate sale, got it for $5 and I went on the internet and found it's worth over a hundred. So uh, yeah, it's pretty easy I think to find these for good deals as opposed to other types of cameras. And yeah, I think if you can get them for a good price, there's really no reason not to have one. So yeah, that's my five reasons I think every photographer should have a point and shoot camera. If you've got a point and shoot, let me know down in the comments what camera you've got because I'd be really curious to see what kind of cameras you guys are using. Other than that, that's about all I have for this video, but stay tuned because I've got a couple pretty cool ones lined up for the future. I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.